in today's lecture we will show that final automata and regular grammars are equivalent. That means, equivalence of finite automata and regular grammars. We say that a finite automaton A is equivalent to a regular grammar G, if the language accepted by the finite automaton A is precisely the language generated by the regular grammar G. We say that the automaton A and the grammar G are equivalent. In order to establish this equivalence, we first prove that given a DFA, given a DFA, we can construct an equivalent regular grammar. And then for converse, given a regular grammar, grammar given a regular grammar, we construct an equivalent finite automata. So, we will prove that given a DFA we can construct an equivalent regular grammar and for a converse given a regular grammar we construct an equivalent finite automata. So, first we will prove that if A is a DFA then the language of the DFA A can be generated by a regular grammar. So, we prove this by constructing a regular grammar for any given DFA. Suppose, A is the DFA contain the elements q sigma delta q 0 and f. Now, we will construct a regular grammar G, which is n sigma p s, where the set of non-terminals n is exactly the set of states of the DFA A. Then, the start symbol of the grammar S is nothing but the start state of the DFA A and the set of productions is of the form A goes to small a b where capital letters indicate non terminals and small letter indicates terminal symbols from the alphabet. So, A goes to small a b is in the production set. If delta a a capital A small a where a is a state small a is a symbol this equal to b. Also, we it contains all those productions of the form a goes to capital A goes to small a such that delta capital A small a belongs to f. So, this is a construction that we will use for the given gra for the grammar from the given DFA A. In addition, if the initial state say q 0 is a final state say q 0 belongs to f, then we include the production S goes to epsilon in P. So, for Q 0 being a final state, we include this particular production S goes to epsilon in the set of productions for the grammar. Now, from the construction it is quite clear that for this particular rule, 
we can show that if epsilon belongs to the language of the automaton A, then epsilon must also belong to the language of the grammar G. Similarly, if epsilon belongs to L of G, then epsilon must also belong to L of A. Now, from the construction, since it is clear that if epsilon belongs to L of A, it must also belong to L of G and vice versa. Now, for any n greater than equal to 1, just consider the string x say a 1, a 2 up to say a n containing n symbols from the alphabet. So, x is a string. So, this string belongs to the language of the DFA, it is accepted by the DFA. So, where x is any arbitrary string. That means, delta hat q 0 a 1, a 2 up to a n belongs to phi. So, after processing this string starting at the start set, start set q 0, we eventually arrive at one of the final states of the DFA f. Now, this implies that there exists a sequence of states q 1, q 2 up to say q n such that. So, there must exist some states such that delta q i minus 1 a i equal to q i for all i greater than equal to 1 and less than equal to n and q n belongs to f. So, if this string to be accepted by the automaton, so we have to process this string eventually arrive at the final state. So, in such a case there must exist a sequence of states q 1, q 2 up to q n such that delta q i minus 1 a i equal to q i for all i greater than equal to 1 and less than equal to n and such that q n eventually belongs to f. So, as per the construction of the grammar we must have q i minus 1 goes to a i q i as a production of the grammar for all i greater than equal to 1 and less than equal to n minus 1 and q n minus 1 goes to a n. So, this is as per the construction of the grammar that we have just described. Now, using these production rules, we can eventually derive the string x in G. To derive x in G, we start with the start symbol s, which is nothing but, but the start symbol or initial state of the DFA, which is q 0. So, this derives in one step a 1 q 1, because according to the construction we have a production q 0 goes to a 1 q 1. Since delta q 0 a 1 equal to q 1 must be applied to process the string starting at a start, a start set q 0. So, this again in one step gives us a 1 since q 1 goes to a 2 q 2 must also be a production since eventually delta q 1 a 2 q 2 must be a production sorry this will be a move in the DFA. So, it is a 1 a 2 q 2 and so on eventually we must have in a few steps a 1 a 2 up to say a n minus 1 q n minus 1 and finally, applying the production q n minus 1 goes to a n we will have a 1 a 2 a n minus 1 a n and which is nothing but x the string x. Thus, x must belong to 
L of G. Since we can derive this string x starting the star symbol of the grammar. Conversely, to show that if x belongs to L of G, then x we can derive or the, the automaton A can accept the string x. Suppose the string y which is b 1, b 2 up to say b m is generated by the grammar g. For some m get turn equal to 1 that is there must exist a derivation in 0 more step the start symbol should derive the string y in g. In the grammar g we should be able to derive the string y starting the star symbol of the grammar. Now, since every production rule of g is of the form a goes to a b or a goes to a because it is a regular grammar, the derivation s goes to y has exactly m steps and the first m minus 1 steps because the length is your m numbers of symbols is m. So, the production the sequence must have exactly m steps and the first m minus 1 steps of the production should use the rule of the form a goes to small a b, where small a is a terminal symbol and eventually in the final step we have to pro use this kind of production. Precisely the derivation will be written as starting with the star symbol s, the first step should be of the form say small b 1 capital b 1, where small b 1 is a terminal symbol from the from from sigma and b 1 is a non terminal then b 1 goes to b 2 b 1 goes to some production of this form b 2 capital b 2 in the next step we will get it to be b 1 b 2 b 2 and so on eventually in m minus 1 steps we will have b 1 b 2 up to b m minus 1 capital B m minus 1. In every step we have used a production of this form a goes to small a b and the final step which is the mth step this non terminal b m minus 1 can be substituted by a terminal by using this kind of production a goes to small a that means it is b 1 b 2 up to b m minus 1 and then this is b m. Now, from this derivation and if, if, if we consider the construction of the grammar G, then we will see that in the automaton we must have for each production, for every production of the form say B 1 goes to B 2, B 2, we must have a move of the, of the of kind say delta B 1, B 2 equal to B 2. Now, from the construction we know that delta b i minus 1 delta b i minus 1 small b i must be equal to b i according to our construction and also since we have used in the last step the production b i minus 1 goes to small b m therefore, delta b m minus 1 b m must belong to the final state, it must be a final state. So, we must have productions of this form and this must be a final state. Now, using this set of transitions, so, so what you can do, you can consider the processing the string starting at the star state q 0, the string y is nothing but delta hat q 0 is nothing but s it is b 1 b 2 up to b m. So, if we consider it to be delta hat delta s b 1 first to take the first symbol and then consider remaining string b 2 b 3 up to b m. So, using the first move delta s b 1 which is nothing but s equal q 0. So, q 0 b 1 will get it to be b 1 b 2 b 3 up to b m. 
following this eventually what will get it to be delta hat b m minus 1 b m, but this is nothing but delta since a single state and single symbol a delta b m minus 1 you can replace this hat by simple transition b m, but this must belong to a final set according to our contraction. So, therefore, y must also belong to the language of the automaton A and hence we have found that L of A is equal to L of G. So, this proves this theorem. So, let us illustrate this example this theorem by given example. Just consider the DFA containing two states q 0 and q 1 where q 1 is a final state and q 0 is an initial state. q 0 on A goes to the final state q 1 and on B it remains on the same state B. q 1 on B remains on the same state B and on A it comes back to the initial state. So, for this DFA let us construct the equivalent regular grammar using our construction rules. So, the grammar G contains n sigma p s, where n is the set of states which is nothing but q 0 and q 1. And the star symbol s is nothing but q 0, sigma is obviously the two symbols a b and where the set of production rules can be found from the moves of the DFA like this. So, q 0 since q 0 on A goes to q 1. So, q 0 A q 1 will be a production rule. q 0 on B goes to q 0 therefore, q 0 goes to B q 0 is also a production rule. And since q 0 on A goes to a final state which is q 1. Therefore, q 0 goes to A is also a production rule according to construction. Similarly, and these are all possibilities for q 0. Similarly, for q 1 if you consider all the transitions all the moves q 1 on A goes to q 0. Therefore, it is A q 0 is a production rule. q 1 on B goes to q 1 again. So, q 1 on B goes to q 1 and since q 1 on B goes to q 1 and q 1 is a final state therefore, q 1 goes to B must also be a production. So, these are the only possible productions that we have for this grammar. So, this is the equivalent regular grammar corresponding to this DFA. Let us consider another example say this is the DF, DFA q 1 is a star state q 1 on A goes to q 2, where q 2 is also a final state q 1 is a star state and a final state q 2 is a final state and q 1 on B remains the same state q 2 on A goes to state q 3 and q 2 on B say goes to q 1 and q 3 on a and b it remains in the same state a b. So, therefore, we can construct according to or considering the rules an equivalent regular grammar say g containing the elements n sigma p s where n is a set of states which is nothing but q 1 q 2 q 3 s is the star symbol it is, which is the star state of the DFA which is q 1 sigma is the set containing a and b and the set of productions will be can be derived from all the transition moves of the DFA. So, if we start with q 1, so q 1 on A goes to q 2. So, therefore, q 1 goes goes to 
a q 2 will be a production rule. Similarly, q 1 on b goes to q 1. So, therefore, q 1 b q 1 must be a production rule. Again, since q 1 on b goes to q 1 and q 1 is a final state, therefore, q 1 goes to b will also be a production rule. Similarly, q 1 on a goes to q 2, where q 2 is a final state, therefore, q 1 goes to a must also be a final state. And since q 1 is the initial state and this is also a final state, therefore, q 1 goes to epsilon is also a production rule according to our construction. Then we have considered all possibilities, all the transition moves, all the moves of the automata from state q 1 on every input symbol. Similarly, on state q 2, if you consider all the moves q 2 on a goes to q 3, therefore, it is a q 3, q 2 goes to a q 3 will be a production. Similarly, q 2 on b goes to q 1, therefore, b q 1 q 2 goes to b q 1 must be a production, but q 2 on b goes to q 1 where q 1 is a final set therefore, q 2 goes to b must also be a production according to our construction. So, these are only moves from q 2 on every input symbol. Similarly, considering q 3 you will find that q 3 goes to q 3 goes to a q 3 and b q 3 are also productions of this grammar. Of course, here q 3 is a tra trap state in the DFA and therefore, we can remove or delete all the production rules involving q 3 without disturbing the language generated by the grammar. That means, we can remove this production rules and this production rule and the resultant simplified grammar will be this one only. So, this is the equivalent regular grammar corresponding to this given DFA. After showing that given any DFA, we can construct an equivalent regular grammar we now move to show that if L is generated by a regular grammar, then L is regular. That means, for L we can construct an equivalent DFA. So, before going to construct a DFA, we will first introduce the concept of generalized finite automaton. or simply GFA. So, generalized finite fine automaton or GFA is a non deterministic finite automaton in which the transitions may be given via strings from a finite set instead of just symbols. That is formally a GFA is a, a GFA is a sextuple containing six elements q, sigma, x delta q 0 f. All other elements except for x are identical to a DFA. Here x is basically a subset from a finite subset, x is a finite subset of strings from sigma star finite subset of sigma star. And here the moves are of the form delta the transition function delta is basically from q cross x to the power set of q. So, instead of a single symbol from sigma we take a string from sigma star. So, that is how we define a GFA. So, even though it may be seems to be more powerful, but you can show that GFA is no more powerful than an NFA. Instead, 
given any move say delta p x say is equal to q. So, we have this kind of transition or move in a g f a. So, if we have a transition like this or move like this, we can always replace this transition by a sequence of transitions introducing a few intermediate states such that if x equal to say a 1, a 2 up to say k that means, it is of length k for some k greater than or equal to 2. In such a case, we will introduce k minus 1 states in between which are say p 1, p 2 up to say p k minus 1. So, that from p on a 1 on the first symbol it goes to say p 1 from p 1 on the second symbol a 2 it goes to p 2 and like that eventually from p k minus 1 it goes to on a k state q. So, this move delta p x equal to q can be replaced by a sequence of moves introducing a few finite number of states and we can show that or it can easily be proved that the language of this new finite automaton NFA is equivalent or identical to the original GFA. So, similarly all other transitions can be replaced by a sequence of transitions in the in an equivalent NFA. Hence, for every GFA we can construct an equivalent NFA removing the sequence I mean transitions on strings. Now, we saw that if L is generated by a regular grammar then L is regular. That means, we can construct an equivalent DFA or equivalent finite automaton to accept the language generated by the grammar G. So, let us give a construction to give a set of rules to construct an equivalent finite automaton from the given regular grammar. Suppose, the given regular grammar is G containing the four tuples containing the four elements n sigma p s. Now, we know that since G is regular every production is of the form A goes to A B sorry A goes to x B where x belongs to sigma star or it may be of the form a goes to x. So, x may be any string from sigma star and here a and b are non terminals it belongs to the set of non terminals. Now, what we will do we will construct a GFA from this given grammar G. So, that it accepts the same language generated by the grammar that means, L g. Now, what I will do let x be the set of strings that are on the right hand side of the production that means, if this is a production. So, this string x will belong to this set x. So, when a goes to x this will belong to this set x that means, x is a set of all strings x such that a goes to x b belongs to the set of productions or a goes to x belongs to the set of productions in the grammar. So, that is how we define the set of strings x from sigma star. Now, since p is a finite p is a finite state this x is a finite subset of sigma star. So, it must always be finite. Now, let us construct the GFA G, GFA 
A. So, A is a GFA containing the six elements is a sextuple, where this set of states of the GFA Q is basically the set of non-terminals union one special state say it is dollar. So, numbers of states will be equal to numbers of non-terminals in the grammar plus one special state which is indicated by this dollar symbol. And the start state is nothing but the start symbol of the grammar and the final state set of final state is nothing but the only state containing the symbol dollar. And we define the transition function like this. So, delta A x equal to b if and only if a goes to x b is a production of the grammar. So, if a goes to x b is a production of the grammar, then we include delta a x equal to b as a transition or a move in the GFA. Similarly, delta a x equal to dollar if and only if a goes to x is a production of the grammar. So, there are only two rules that we have introduced to construct the moves of the GFA from the productions of the grammar. Now, we claim that the language of the GFA A is nothing but the language generated by the grammar G that is what we want to prove. Say let W belongs to L of G. So, since W is generated by the grammar G, therefore, there must be a derivation say which has suppose k steps. So, G must have a derivation which has k steps uh, which, which is obtained by following k minus 1 production rules in the first k steps and eventually in the k step. So, so in the in the first k steps we will be using the production rules of the form a i minus 1 goes to x i a i and in the k step we must use a production of the form say a k minus 1 goes to x k. So, if w belongs to L g, we obviously must have a derivation and the derivation suppose if it has a blank k in the first k steps it must be we must use this kind of production rules for i greater than equal to 1 less than equal to k minus 1. And the final step we have to use to replace the last non terminal, we must use a production rule of the form a k minus 1 goes to x k. So, in this case, of course, the start symbol s is a 0. Thus, for w equal to x 1, x 2 up to say x k. We can show the derivation like say S start with S, which is equal to A0. In one step, it must derive x1 one one A1. In the next step, A1 goes to x2, A2 has to be used. So it is x2, A2, and so on. Eventually, in k minus 1 step, we will have x1, x2 up to x k minus 1 a k minus 1 and the kth step we have to use replace this a k minus 1 by x k by using this kind of rule x 1 x 2 up to x k minus 1 x k which is nothing but w. So, the derivation must be like this. So, if this is a sequence of derivation 
or sequence steps in the derivation. So, according to the construction of the GFA, we must have production rules of the form A i minus 1 x i equal to A i. That means, if we start at q 0 and process w with nothing but s x 1 because q 0 is the start symbol of the grammar s w is x 1 x 2 up to say x k. So, this will give since s is we have said is a 0 x 1 x 2 up to x k. So, in one step we will get it to be a 1 x 2 x 3 up to x k, because according to the construction delta a 0 x 1 equal to a 1 is a transition or move in the G F A. Since, we have a move like this for every production of the form say a i minus 1 goes to x i a i. So, in the next step accordingly what will have from a 1 x 2 delta a 1 x 2 you will get a 2 x 3 up to say x k and eventually in k minus 1 moves we will have a k minus 1 x k. And finally, since in the derivation the final step we have used this production a k minus 1 goes to x k to replace a k minus 1 by x k. So, accordingly we must have accordingly we must have a k minus 1 x k because since it is a production of the form a goes to x. So, this must be a final step and eventually we will consume the whole string w and we will arrive at a we will arrive at the final state which is dollar because a k is basically must be a final step according to the construction. So, therefore, since we have consumed the, consumed the whole string we know that the language L is a subset of L A. Similarly, you can show the converse. So, converse can be shown exactly in a similar way. Therefore, eventually we can show that L of A equal to L of G. Now, let us explain the construction by giving one or two examples. Now, in the first example, let us consider the grammar s goes to small a s, small b s, a b a, and say a goes to small a a, b a, and epsilon. Suppose we have these six productions in the grammar. So, we will first construct from this. So, this is a, this is a regular grammar, it follows all the rules of a regular grammar. So, we will first construct a GFA. The transition map of the GFA is delta can be constructed like this for epsilon symbol A B and we have the string A B in the right hand side of production. Those are the only possible strings that we have A B A B and epsilon and the states in the GFA will be the non terminals s a and the new non terminal dollar. So, this s on epsilon there is no move on epsilon. So, it be phi. So, s on small a it goes to s according to our construction because s goes to a s is a production and a grammar. So, therefore, delta 
S A equal to S, we have a move like this in the G F A. Similarly, since S goes to B S is a production, delta S B equal to S is a move. Therefore, del S on B goes to S itself. Similarly, S on A B goes to state A. Following the same rules, A on epsilon there is no move. So, so there is a move. A on epsilon, A goes to epsilon is a production that we have. A goes to epsilon is a production. Therefore, A goes to dollar must be included. So, that means, delta A epsilon equal to dollar must be a move according to our construction that we have already introduced. Then A on A small a, it remains in the same state A. A on B again, since A goes to B A is a production, it remains in the same state A. And on A B there is no move, because there is no production sort of form A goes to A B something. So, therefore, this is phi, there is no move. And from dollar, we give no move. So, this is the generalized final automata that we have. Now, we have only one transition from the state S to the state A on the string A B. All the transitions are on symbol A, either on symbol A or B. So, the only transition on some string is for the string A B and that is from star set S to the state A. We can remove this by introducing a new state say it is B. So, from S we can go to B on symbol A and from B we can go to state A on symbol B to replace the move from S to state A on the string A B. So, introducing this modification, we will get the new transition map delta on epsilon A and B. S on epsilon goes to S on epsilon goes to phi and S on A initially it went to star state S, now it will also go to B. So, now therefore, it will be S and B and S on B it will remain in the same state and on A B we have already removed. So, S uh, on A on epsilon it goes to the final state dollar and on A there is no change, on B there is no change, we have just copied it. Then we have introduced a new non terminal B. So, B on small b goes to A because according to this move B on small b goes to A and there is no other move from B on epsilon or on the symbol A. Similarly, from S from dollar there is no transition. So, this is a transition map for a given final automata. That means, if we draw the transition diagram start with S this is a start symbol. So, S on A it may go to S or it may go to B. And then S on B will go to S again therefore, S on A and B may to may go to S. 
b on b on b goes to a or b on small b goes to a a on a and b goes to a itself and then a on epsilon goes to dollar which is a final state of course, this on epsilon goes to dollar and dollar does not go this state does not go to anywhere on any of the input symbol. So, these are required transition diagram for, for a given regular grammar. Let us consider another example say s goes to b s a a a goes to b a say a b and b goes to b b a s. Now, here we will we'll find that there is no any production which contains a string all the production the right hand side of the production there is no string involved all are symbol. So, therefore, it is easy to draw the transition diagram directly. So, the start set will be the start symbol of the grammar this is s. So, s on b from this production s goes to b s s on b it remains on the same state and s on a small a it goes to the state a from this production s goes to a. Now, a goes to b a for this we have again s a goes to b a we have a self loop. Similarly, a goes to a b on a it goes to the state b. Then b on small b goes to b that means, it will be a self loop on b and b on a goes to from this production b goes to a s b on a goes to s and eventually of course, we need the general production say epsilon. So, b on epsilon goes to final state because this is the only production of the kind of, of the form a goes to a goes to x where x belongs to sigma star. Since, b goes to epsilon epsilon is a string from sigma star. So, this must be a final state. So, therefore, b on epsilon goes to dollar. So, this is the required final automata which is equivalent to this regular grammar.